All right, guys, so we're on my computer screen right now. We're going to talk about the World Tournament. The World Tournament is currently available. If you didn't catch my uh, Weekly Grind Wednesday video, uh, essentially it's a video that I do release. I try to release every Wednesday, but I do it at least once a week. Um, and it goes over all the events that are currently running in the game, including gotchas on both the JP side and global side. So I mentioned a lot about the World Tournament. I went over a little bit into it. So but we're going to do a separate video, and I'm going to do a full gameplay um, of one round through. But let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, the World Tournament is currently available. It started last night uh, around 11 o'clock p.m. P uh, Pacific time. I was about to say p I don't know why. <laughs> it ends on 10-10. Um, so that's in five days, essentially. So it's a five-day World Tournament. kind of stinks. I really hate the fact that it's 10-10. Um, let's see. So that's Tuesday night in it. So that kind of stinks for a lot of us who actually want this card because it's going for such a long time. You have to grind so much out of it. It's just, it's a little bit ridiculous. But regardless of that, it's a very, very good card in terms of support. Um, he is essentially going to be w one of the staples in your hybrid Saiyan team for support. Um, unless something better comes out in the future. But, um, so let's talk about the rankings real quick, or the rewards of number one place. This is the Gohan, we're going to talk about him in a minute. Number one place, you get 14 of them. They started doing that because you get one of the base, and you get four for each of the dupes, and then you get um, nine more to get into Super Attack 10. So the number one spot gets a fully maxed out uh, Gohan. Now, this is a support unit, so you don't really need to do that. Uh, plus, he has a semi-farmable uh, card that you can farm. He is, uh, it's Polo Summonable from the any type of banner. An SR, it's a, either a strength or a physical. There's two different variants of him that you can feed into. So you don't even need to really, really worry about that. I believe the reward that you can be set with is the thousandth plate. Hundredth to a thousandth if you're just looking to unlock all the two paths. Again, he's support. You don't really need to do that. Um, me, myself, I'm probably going to go for top 5,000 because I want two. I want the bottom uh, right two path unlock and just the base one and his base because I can get up to super attack 10 without a problem. Uh, especially if you guys haven't seen, you got, well, I know you guys haven't seen, if you've been following me on Twitter or you joined uh, the, my group that, part, that I'm part of, the Dokkan Multiverse, um, you'll see a whole bunch of different stuff that I had pulled, and you will know that I went pretty ham on a couple of two-time Elder Kai banners. Uh, not even just the ones that I've been putting videos out on the past couple days. That I haven't put those videos out yet because I haven't done any of the editing. Um, anyway, uh, in terms of this, you can actually score him up until the top 10,000th place, so they made it a little bit wider. I, I'm definitely going to go for the top 5,000 myself, but I, if I come in the top 10,000, it's not going to be too big of a deal. Uh, you get all the standard rewards. They really need to fix this, uh, that they only give us, like, such little medals. I feel like they should be able to, they should actually give us enough to maybe, like, 50 of each of these medals, and then maybe, you know, 50 of the other medals as well, and then maybe 100, 150 of the, of the smaller medals, you know, the common medals. Uh, but whatever, I can't say anything about that, and I would like, you know, maybe 5 of the Elder Kai and Supreme Kai. Uh, I think that would be a little bit better incentive for people to actually play. But anyway, uh, after that, you don't really, you don't get that Gohan. You still get some cool prizes and everything. Uh, the, the, other, the only other thing is Elder Kai's that you might want to get. Uh, platinum trophies are pretty cool too. They help you out with Zenny. And since this is a Platinum SSR, it's 1.5 million. Oh, look, came up actually. 1.5 million Zenny um, as you, for each one that you sell. So you get a lot there. I think that's what three, four, four point five million zenny for getting in the top five thousandth place. But anyway, guys, so let's talk about the card real quick. The Spirited Golden Warrior Super Saiyan Gohan Teen. His leader ability is Super Type Key plus two HP and Defense plus fifty percent. So he's not a great leader. Uh, you can utilize him if you don't have the one of the hero lead. It's pretty cool. Uh, but it's you know he, he lacks the attack buff, so you're not going to really have that great uh, luck with him and he only gives two key but again if you lack a, a, a super leader he is going to be your friend super attack shockwave caused cream damage to the enemy rare chance to stun so that's actually pretty cool i like that you know the fact that he stuns or has a chance to stun uh makes him pretty viable that's about what you're not taking damage obviously and since i mean the super saiyan 4 goku he does have a counter fe well, function or feature or whatever you want to call it passive <laughs> Uh, the thing about that is, it only goes off on super attacks, and it rarely goes off. You know, I know it's like medium chance, but medium chance is like 20%. I, my RNG kind of sucks with it, if you, you know, I know you guys haven't watched it, but my RNG kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> anyway, so his passive skill is really where he, it comes into play. His, uh, passive skill, uh, Enigmatic Hero, it is super types, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 25%. So that's really viable, he's a rainbow passive, um, uh, support, and he gives key, Attack and defense, which is super, super viable. Uh, that's why I said he's a really good card, because he runs, he can be run on three different teams. 
Now, obviously, if you have the most OP support units, you're not going to need him. But he can run on that Super Saiyan 4 Goku team if you don't have the Kaba. And especially on us on the global side, we don't have Kaba yet. I don't know. They, they just released the Strength Banner. I don't know why they didn't put Kaba in there. But whatever. What can you do? <clears throat> I guess because the Janemba hasn't come out and he probably won't be out for a couple more months. So having that support for an extreme might not make sense. But uh, I don't know. <clears throat> he, so he's going to be good on that team. He's going to be good on a Heroes team. And he's going to be good on the future Hybrid Saiyans team. Because he's a, you know, he's a Hybrid Saiyan. He's you know half Saiyan, half Earthling. So he's going to run really well on that team as support. It's not like they need the key link because, you know, you don't need that. But he's going to help out there. So that's why I really like this card. He's going to be a state. Uh, max stats are HP of 91, 94, attack of 75, 96, and defense of 47, 57. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. So overall, not a hard hitter. Just just support. That's all there is to it. He's a, just a support until something better comes out. Um, and that's all there is to it. The other thing is, <clears throat> now I'm going to jump in game in a second. I do have my phone screen up and recording right now. We have this Bardock over here, Solitary Warrior Bardock. Leader ability is agility and strength type, HP and attack plus 30%. Uh, super attack, final spirit cannon, causes extreme damage to the enemy. Fast skill, undefeatable spirit, agility and strength type, key plus two. And his link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, Saiyan Lineage, Team Bardock, and Saiyan Pride. Overall, not a great unit. This is also though, this came out as the second world tournament prize. Um, <clears throat> in the JP side. So this is a very old card. As if you guys have been playing this for a while, you'll know that this was the this was the norm. Four cards back in those days. Only three, four, well, not three. But about four to five link skills at most. Um, and their passive skills were decent. He was actually better uh, passive for the agility and strength types because you didn't really have a lot of good key leads. Like, you you had a choice between, I believe, the OG uh, Dokkan Fest leaders or the strike event leaders. And yes, guys, back in those days, we use strike events as our primary leads for a lot of events. So, but, um, yeah. So he's not that great of a unit. His 12 key multiplier, 120%, really old. Uh, you can technically farm this Bardock. I wouldn't recommend it because it's an R and you have to Z-Awaken him to an SR. And it's like I think it's like only a 30% rate or something like that, if, if that. Um, anyway, Hidoken Awakens into the Saiyan's Last Stand Bardock. Now, this is where he, he becomes a little bit more useful. Leader abilities, agility, and strength type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30%. So he is a mini little leader. Uh, he's good if, you, if you're lacking an agility or a strength lead, so you can throw him on there. Especially on, a, if you have a friend Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, you could take him, put him there. He's going to get the buffs from Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and he's going to give his own buffs. Again, not going to be great, but total between the two of them is 150% uh, to all of your agility. Um, the agility unit. Anyway, Super Attack is a final Spear Cannon, greatly raises attack for one turn, and causes supreme damage to the enemy. They tried to make him a little bit more viable for his attacks, I guess because his 12-12 key multiplier is 130%. Um, they gave him a 10% buff on that. Not that great, though. I mean, I guess, I don't know, I haven't seen him actually do any attack. But his passive skill is really what you're going to be looking for. Uh, a Light in the Dark, Agility and Strength type key plus 2, attack plus 30%. So he's a really good support unit for a mono uh, hero agility team. So on Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team, you're going to want to run him because he gives key plus 2, attack plus 30%, and I believe when the pan comes out, that these are going to be the two that you really want to run just because of those attack buffs. Um, really good passive skill. That's all there is to it. Leader skill, pretty damn good. Super attack, meh. I don't know how much damage it actually does, but I mean, he's a world tournament card. They're usually not that great in terms of damage dealers. I think there was like one that did decent damage. Link skills are now Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride, Prepare for Battle, Shattering Limit, and Family Ties. So he got three more link skills, which is really freaking awesome. Uh, decent unit. He, he, he's an all-around good unit. I mean, granted, uh, he's not going to be doing a lot of linking, but he has Saiyan Pride, which is good for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Uh, so, you know, that's an extra 25%, I believe. 15%. Uh, so, yeah, you, you could throw that in there because there's not a lot of cards that actually help out Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Myself, I don't have the, I think it's the Torah, the Agility Torah. Um, that you could technically link with him. I do on my JP side. My Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta hits just like freaking Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And I mean, he's not a Super Saiyan, but everyone else on that team is Super Saiyans. So having Toro with that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, definitely worth it in my opinion. It's the same thing in my opinion as a Super Saiyan 3 Goku that you keep. Anyway, um, his max stats HP of 890, 830, attack of 78, 73, and defense of 45, 16. And I already told you about his 12 key multiplier. Overall, really good unit. He is now only available, though, um, from the World Tournament Summons, Guaranteed Summons, so he's going to be in that banner. Um, they were probably just doing that because we didn't get him, so I'm assuming they're just going to start tossing these ca these cards that were only on the JP side tournament that were not available on the Global into the into that banner so we can have some luck at pulling him. Uh, I mean, whatever. I, I would prefer a different method, but I mean, now we have a chance. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and jump over the game right now.
<clears throat> as we see here, I haven't started the world tournament yet. We have 14 days, 14 hours. I mean, four days, 14 hours left. Uh, we're gonna actually gonna before we participate, we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at the yeah. Look at this. This is the banner. I don't understand why they didn't have the freaking uh, the, the the two support units there. It don't make no sense. Um, here we go. Now this is going to be who's in the banner. Yes, I know I have a lot of freaking tickets, guys. Uh, I don't. I don't even know if I'm gonna plan on pulling um, on this banner. I don't know. Uh, actually. You know, other than that Goku and that Vegeta, I don't have any of the banner units. Well, I have, but I could definitely use extra of these banner units. Oh, I oh I have him already. Yeah, I have him. He's still cool to have, um, and I have him too. Oh, and I well, you know, I want. I think I need well, two more of him so that way I can actually Doken wake him. He's a so good support unit. Actually, it's funny. Um, you know what? I I could actually use more of all. Of them, uh, except for the only one I really don't want at this point is back is this Goku because I already have him maxed out. And that Vegeta. And that. So there's only three cards in this banner that I don't want. It's just there's so freaking many of, you know, and the, I mean, the Turlis, right? The Turlis is cool, but he's not vile. Um, or whatever. We're going to go ahead and participate. We're going to do a full round. I'm bringing my Broly team. My, I'm bringing my World Tournament Killer team. <laughs> so 2.5 is where we're going to start out. And we're just going to go ahead and do this. You know, um, while that, well, give me a second here. I'm just, I'm, I'm stopping the screen recording so that my computer has less of a load on it. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> So we're going to go in, hopefully we can find, oh cool, we got a Broly friend. Now the reason why you want to bring a double Broly, especially in the preliminaries, like majority of the time you want to be in the prelim pre pre preliminaries, is for the sheer fact that you're going to want to make sure that you have an AOE on on the time, all the time, like on the field all the time. So I bring that a Raleigh for that reason, that's why I did go ham for her, I don't know if you guys remember that. Uh, that's when I really first started my YouTube channel. Uh, I went really, really ham uh, for that or better Raleigh, uh, just because I want to make sure I can grab her to throw her onto this AoE team. I don't have any orbs fed into her, but I would recommend doing it. So if you throw some orbs into her, she could actually do some decent damage and take some guys out in the World Tournament. And if you have a dupe of her, then she definitely will do bottom right path, because she has a farmable attack. Um, what else did I want to do? So I have Sensu Bean, I have him, I have him. Um, I don't really have anything else. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm bringing a Yemma. Yeah, I'm bringing Gemma just because, you know, sometimes you don't want a, a Ghost Hunter. I mean, I don't need it right now because I'm only doing two times, but I like to get it prepped and set up, so that way when I go and actually get up to the 20 time multiplier, I'm all set. But yes, this is going to be a longer video, guys. So if you're just looking for the actual, you know, gameplay, I mean, just looking for the information of the World Tournament, then that's what that is. I'm probably, I'm not going to be able to do one night like I would, like I wanted to do, only because um, I'm working the night shift, so I won't be available to do a recording tonight. Uh, but a whole bunch of stuff happens, so I have to make sure I push everything. Um, Alright, cool. So, these guys are going to start fighting. I want to make sure that I can actually get them for the point, because I hate when they start taking each other out. Alright, let's see. Oh, cool, look at that. Perfect. Go right, right, now. No. Boom. And then I get the actual Tenkaichi extra points over here. Um, and then these guys are going to come in for me now. Awesome. Hell yeah. And I think this fell in a really good position. Let me actually check and start it. Oh, I didn't. Ooh. Well, you know what? They're all stunned. So that's why, I mean, if you guys are new here and you don't know, um, you have the Jocko and Chiaotsu because they stun everyone on the field. You have Boo because he's an orb changer. And then I'll talk about it. You already know why I have the Broly on. Um, uh, I need to get um, orbs down for Broly, so that we get yeah. Alright, so, uh, yeah, so at the other side, I have Broly, and I have Goten. The reason why I have Goten, he is an orb changer. Now, I don't, I prefer, I don't prefer the, his type of orb changing myself, but he links with the Saiyan, so he gives, he gives Broly that extra buff. Uh, that definitely helps out. So that's what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, you don't want him to do his prime, like his uh, 20, uh, 18 plus key modifier, uh, just because when he when he launches that, he doesn't do an AOE and an attack animation takes a little bit longer. So you want to get that sweet spot between uh, 12 to 7. That way he does a double AOE. It comes, it, it doesn't sound like much, but it definitely comes to play, especially when you get to the 20 time multiplier. Uh, because 20 time multiplier, you need that to the agility that you're going up against. Because without the double AOE, they're all going to survive. Uh, Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, so we're good, we're good. Uh, just have it. Plus, again, it's, it's all about time. Because you have to go through the first attack animation, then powering up and throwing the freaking energy ball. And then you have to go through a second attack animation, and doing the same exact damn thing. When you get the AoE, it doesn't really matter. When you get there. Uh, but, 
don't have uh, you know and this is why I bring these orb chambers now I have a thousand of these guys so I just pop them left and right so you know uh, that's why I just abuse the crap out of them too. 9, 10, 11, 12, perfect. Yeah, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do that. So you also get additional points, I believe, for getting the same orb types, so that's why I just try to focus on getting the same orb colors uh, when I'm trying to get enough heat. You know, obviously I'm gonna go for the one with the most heat, but the, most, the more heat you get, the more orb you get. Or I believe that maybe that, that had changed. Maybe that, I don't remember. I remember for a while, you got four points per same orb obtained, and now, and then you only got like one for off orb colors. So I don't know if that had actually changed. I think it didn't work in, a, in like a, the, the last world tournament I looked at it. I actually constantly took a look for it. Probably another one. But uh, maybe the one before that, I think it was. Alright, so let's see. So yeah, um, this is going to be my grind over the next few days, guys. It's going to be my butt. I really, really, <laughs> I, I hate the fact that they're doing these five-day tournaments. It's like, yo, Bandai, can you just give us like a two- to three-day world tournament? It makes life a lot easier for most of us. Most of us, you know, want to outside of playing the Dokkan battle. <laughs> uh, see, that actually hurt right there because I don't have no. Okay, that might be a little bit better. Two, four, six, ten. We're going to use another orb. Oh, you know what I bring? I bring the king. That's what that last item that I'll... I know I bring something to uh, stand for. Uh, but I, I have to the king, and I didn't bring it. So, because sometimes you, you're just short one key. So, the king gives you one key for three turns. It really better. Especially, well, not really in the pro center, but he's very common, and I have a thousand of him also, so I don't mind you just, like, spamming the crap out of that. Here we go. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I usually don't do, like, when I do a world tournament, like, catch-up video, I usually do one a day if I'm actually grinding out the world tournament. I don't do the preliminaries. Typically, it's when I start my first video of the world tournament, I do the preliminary, I do one full run through. Um, but yeah, now, so that's that. So I'll be doing another one probably tomorrow afternoon. Look at that, Videl tier, awesome. Uh, so I'll be doing one tomorrow afternoon for uh, the, the last, the, the next... Uh, quarterfinal, semifinal, final, and that's the way I can for video for my where I'm at video. There we go. Also, um, I'm really hoping that next week we get the information about the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. I really, really, really hope that we get it. Uh, part of me doesn't think I'm going to pull on it, though I did promise some people that I'll be doing some summon. So I will probably have at least the one uh, collab going on, my first collab. Uh, I promised myself I would not do any collaborate until I hit over a thousand subs. Just because I feel like, you know, I, I didn't want to... You know, I wanted to know that I was doing a good job making sure that I got the, sub the subscribers by reaching out to people saying, hey, check me out, let me know what you like, what you don't like. And I feel like going on to someone else's channel before I can get to a point where I feel comfortable about with doing that, that, you know, it, it means something more to me. That I actually, you know, earn the right to be able to go and collaborate. So, yeah, that's why I really haven't done any collabs. Plus, you know, my computer kind of stinks, so trying to run, like, Skype to get a conversation going and recording my, uh, you know, doing the audio recording, you know, doing all this stuff for my phone, on my phone and on my computer, really not that great. So I'm also going to be testing that for the first time, and hopefully everything goes well. But I have two collabs set up, so, yeah, uh, that will probably be going out at some point next week. Um, I was supposed to do one, well, record one yesterday, but we had a company out in so <laughs> I went and I did that instead. Completely proud about it. So there we go. So, so yeah, do you guys all actually plan on going to the world tournament? Uh, what do you are you guys actually like, trying to place in what I'm trying to say? Uh, let me know down in the comments below what what placement you're actually trying to go for. Uh, again you guys already know I want top five thousand, but uh, whatever, top ten thousand you find I just need the card for that's all there is to it. I can get him super tight ten. And I'm honestly, I'm not going to put any orbs into him, he doesn't warrant, he doesn't have orbs, he doesn't have it, he doesn't hit hard enough to warrant orbs. If he had, like, uh, super type, his super type pass, and gives his own attack buff, like, maybe 50%, that would be 75% boost, then I can say I might put some orbs, but, yeah. Uh, also, I just finished the Shenron Witches, guys, I didn't realize that, uh, uh, you know, that they had a, n a new set that was available, because obviously on the JP side, I, I don't... I haven't finished grinding out any of them. So, you know, what did you guys choose for your last whip? Because I chose the next slot, and I mean, I'm not going to show you here, 
uh, just because the video's already at about 20 minutes now. <laughs> but um, I, cho I chose that slot time, and I was just like, alright, this is actually pretty damn sick. I really like that, because now, I, the last time that I was available, I chose that slot as well. So, I have two additional slots, and I think that's what, eight uh, slots, because that's what, five attribute type, then I have a villain team, and my hero team. Now I have, yeah, so I have eight total slots. Frick off the fuck. Uh, there we go. Now we're going to be getting some in a one shot. Oh, don't go over. Oh, damn, he's getting... Now, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about about that extra anime. Uh, if you're newer and you're wondering, uh, when it comes to the World Tournament grind, there's a lot of things you want to do to make sure you save time um, when you're doing the grind. Because one full round in the World Tournament can get the difference between, like, uh, so, uh, 5,000 and, like, 10 to 4,000 night. <laughs> or 4,999 or whatever. So then, like, you, you just it will get you outside of a bracket, winding down like toward the end. So make sure that you hit everything perfectly, or at least doing your best at it perfectly, helps out with time, and you'll be able to progress quick. I'm also running the most optimal team for the World Tournament at this point. I do have my Majita, but he's not optimal. This team is optimal. And optimal just means... Uh, I hate because I do hate using the word, but I mean that's just that describe. This is a perfect because of the stunning and the orb change that is rolling up. This is the optimal to progress to the world tournament because the world tournament, um, the whole idea behind it is to grind the heck out. That's all there is to it. You're gonna grind, 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 and you want to do it as fast as you can. Is even if you're just going for mission rewards, it's a pain in the butt. You want to get it done quick. So. The finals. The finals are always pain in the butt when you're on the 20-time multiplier as well, because they hit harder. And usually they'll attack. <laughs> Every once in a while you get that one straight super attack, and the game has been reset now. So or the the the, the, re the, the in-game reset has been hacked. So like we, you literally, if, if you get super, so that's also why I bring the ghost up because on this last round, if I don't have a stunner, um, and if, if I'm not the first one to attack, I, I use the ghost up right off the bat. <laughs> Alright, and we're good. Now this is the end of the World Tournament, so I'm pretty happy about that. I, I'm, I'm debating, I, I'll probably do some summons, I do have a lot of GSSR that you guys saw before. I have a lot of GSSR that I might do if you didn't have that. I might wait uh, for the future, but um, yeah, the, the, they're going to release other, I think there are a whole bunch of other cards that are available on the of the World Tournament um, that were not available on global. I'm going to jump up. So yeah, Japan side, it looked like... Actually, yeah, I think we have everything except for that Bardock. I think that Bardock's the only one that we don't actually have. So yeah, that's freaking pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm probably actually going to summon. I might do some something later on. Uh, either to, probably tomorrow I'll do some something. Yeah, I'm just going to have some freaking... But anyway guys, that's it. Um, 25 minute video here, about 25. Uh, 24. And I appreciate you guys stopping by. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Uh, I usually don't do really long videos like this, but World Tournament Grind, I know what I would do is I would go find a YouTuber and I would just keep on their videos uh, so that way I could hear Dokkan talk while I'm playing, so that way I can you know, play along, do whatever. Uh, that, so I figured I would do one long video during a World Tournament Grind so that way you guys can grind out. But anyway, um, I'm going to continue to do my grind. I'm going ham on this. I'll let you guys know. I will keep you posted through the tournament grind on how I'm doing. Let me down in the comments below how you're doing and if you're going to be going. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you later.